Hey everyone, this is Stephanie Beckett. I am going to show you the rubric, which is embedded within Google Classroom. Now in my school district, we are requiring, or not requiring, we are offering a final project that the students can do um, to raise their grade 10 points um, due to the COVID-19 closure. So this is my senior project that I've created for my students. And I have to make sure that there is a rubric attached to it. Google embeds a rubric for you and you can create it right within Google Classroom. Or if you have your rubric on Google Sheets, you could import that, um, that rubric as well. So my rubric has seven components. And what I did is I put the um, instructions that I gave to the, to the students right here. And then as I'm grading, I have the instructions, but I also have the criteria on here. So I have all of my notes in one place as I'm grading. All right. And the kids can see this because once I assign it to them, they will be able to see that um, what the rubric is and what my grading criteria is. Now, when using a rubric, you want to make sure that you leave the point section as ungraded. If I put it out of 100 points, it's going to change my ability to grade it using the rubric. So make sure you leave it as ungraded right here. And the other thing I'm gonna ask for are originality reports, okay? If I recheck it, it tells me that I can only use originality reports on three assignments per class. Since this is my last assignment of the year, this is fine. I don't mind using it. So make sure that you use these when it matters. With my senior project, I'm asking them to do research and analyze poems. And I want to make sure that they are not just copying and pasting from the internet. What's great about the originality reports is that it will pop up on the students. And they have three reports that they can run on their work to see if they have plagiarized anywhere. So they know going into it what has been plagiarized and what they need to fix. And if they choose not to fix it, well, that's on them. But then what you do is when you get it, you get the originality report and it'll tell you exactly what website they got it from. It'll highlight on their article or on their assignment and it'll highlight within the web page where they copied and pasted. It's beautiful. All right, so I'm going to hit continue. Now, what I did is I attached seven documents um, for the students to put their projects on. And I have made a copy for each student. So the students know exactly what they need to work on. And all of their stuff will be saved in the right places. And I put the introduction to their project on a Sutori. You could have the students create a Sutori. Sutori right now is free during the COVID-19 closure. And it's really just an awesome timeline that the kids create or you can create. And it's visually appealing. And when you present it, it's really nice. You could have the kids create this. So let me go up to the top real quick. But you can just see um, everything on full pages, it's it's nice, it's clean, and it's super easy to set up. So this is their senior pandemic portfolio, and they're gonna go through, they're gonna create this portfolio, and they're gonna make journals, and you can even, all of these are hyperlinks, so the kids can click on these and go to the different hyperlinks. This is a hyperlink as well to the article that I want them to use. Um, this is just one of their directions that you can embed videos. This one is a reading um, from a Leo Tolstoy short story. And then um, this is Death Be Not Proud. This is a link to the poem for Holy Sonnet 10. It has a bunch of stock images that you can use. Um, and then again, this is another link. This is awesome. And the kids could have a great time creating this. And when they create it, when you grade it, you have the ability to comment on each individual thing when they share it with you. So you could go through and comment 
Okay, but for this, I just clicked share and I am sharing it. And you can link it straight to your Google Classroom and make it an assignment, or you can just share the link with them, however you want to do it. But it's super user friendly. I enjoy it a lot. It's just something different than your standard PowerPoint. But um, with this, this is the project. Make sure that when you do it, you leave your points ungraded and the rubric is here. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to help you. Um, but I hope this helps and I hope that um, you try out the rubric for yourself. Have a great day.